and welcome to Diva's Paradise, a wonderful world of fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. In this first tutorial, we're going to start with foundation. Foundation basics. I think it's essential. This is my very first tutorial. Let's start by moisturizing the skin. And basically, I'm going to be using, as you can see, all used up. It's Embryo Luce. It's a uh, rich moisturizer. It's good for all skin types, actually. Um, a lot of makeup artists do enjoy using it. I'll we'll spread that on my face. It's nice and clean. Makes for good base. I spread using my fingers. Okay. I need a little bit more. A little bit more. The face is clean and naked, all natural. And basically, in this tutorial, we'll just be dealing with the foundation. Okay? Then I did some of the stuff that I like to use. I mean, I use a variety of products, but, um, I'll just give you the basics. Alright, so I've been nice and moisturized, as you can see. Make sure you get the eye boogie. Okay? Eyebrows already clean, pretty much. Um, I'm going to be using my Kevin Aquine Secret, uh, Essential Skin Enhancer. I use actually three shades. Do I always do this? No. But this is gives me this is kind of basically how I do if I feel like I'm going out. I start by using the lighter shade under the eyes. You can see that. Now this stuff is potent. All you need is a tiny bit. Tiny tiny. Okay, get it under the eye. I like to use my fingers for this only because it's so rich, it's so concentrated. I don't want to waste any, and I really don't want to end up using too much. So I get it on the lid. Okay. Can you see that? I love it. That's number 13. I use that um, as my highlighting shade. I also put it down the bridge of my nose. Up on the brow bone. These are the areas that I want to bring forward. Because when you wear light shades, it brings things forward. Whereas the darker shades cause them to proceed. Alright, I hope you can hear me over this music. I'm playing my world music today. It's my African music. And I put a little bit down here under my chin. Okay? Perfect. See this all blended. Now, I like the essential skin in here, so I have had this forever and it lasts forever. It kind of goes on creamy, then it dries down to a powder. Now, shade number 14 is pretty much my whole inner face shade. So. I'll take this from my cheeks down. Yeah. My little boy trying to get in on that. Alright, let's go in the living room, please. I'm gonna play Elma on the computer. Yeah, you got Elma on the computer, remember? So my nose has a boo boo, so I have to be very careful. Okay. And this I love because I just dab it on and all the boo-boos disappear. Magically. I can just stipple it with my finger. The best way to control the, uh, the amount of stuff I have. I have a little boo-boo up here. I also stipple that with my finger. So I get rid of it. Perfect. See? See how that looks? Part of my unmanicured nails. Go, Horace. Go and play on my computer. Then now, I will use number 15, which is even darker shade, right? Number 15 of the Central Skin Enhancer. This I will use to chisel me some cheekbones. I like to sculpt. Okay. You can see that. Horace, go and do Elm on computer. Alright, no. then I can't help you. Bring it up, up, up. Okay. And then because my forehead is so big and I like to chisel some space off my forehead, I'll take a darker shade and go around to the outer part. And then to the sides of the nose. And of course I'm going to blend that down. And blend, blend, blend. You see how soft that looks? Everything is blended. 
burn so much. Like I said, I like it because it dries down. So powder is finished. Now, believe it or not, for my setting powder, I really enjoy using um, Cosmer Tens and Tan. I use it with foundation, I use it without foundation. It's just a lovely shade that does everything for me. Who says you have to spend an arm and a leg in order to, um, you know, make a bite and tie and a low end? Come on, the puff. Black Makeup Forever Powder Puff. So just take the shine off. Perfect. See, my foundation is on and it still looks like I have skin. Love it. Perfect. Now, let's work on those brows. Usually, I'll go... Kayla, can, Horace, can you please go? I use... Kayla, come get your brother. I'm here trying to do my thing and he's like, no. I put, like, a concealer pencil. I don't want it totally closed. Please, it's too hot in here. Anyway, sorry about that interruption. That's what happens when you have kids. And I blend it out. Because I want my eyebrows to look more shaped than they actually are. Okay. And I'm sure to blend it out. And you have to blend it really well because if you don't, when you take pictures, it'll look like you have some big white stuff under your brow bone. And I hate that. And I'm sure we've all seen that in pictures. See? Blend it very well. Then, using my Billy B Billy B eyebrow, I use it for eyebrow at least. You can use it for a liner. <coughs> Number eleven brush. You see how it's chiseled? Oh, can I get that in the video? Kind of hard, but anyway, you see it's angled, pretty stiff. This is great for putting on my eyebrows. All right, and. Take it down below and up. I'm making my archy area. I'm more so focused on the tails. I feel like if I focus too much on the front, it begins to look <laughs> Marcho Grouchish. <laughs> That's the word. Ah, uh, perfect. Now this is number three of the eyebrow corrector. You see how dark that is? I usually don't wear my brows that dark, but you're going to see a trick that I'm going to do. I'm going to do the other one, and there we go, and I concentrate on the tail, I'm trying to keep my eye on the timer because I know the video can't take too long, and perfect, eyebrows are on and we're almost done with our foundation basics. Uh, then, because I don't usually like my eyebrows this dark, I lighten them up. I use Anastasia Tinted Gel in Brunette. And I brush them up, as you can see. It gives me a nice, smooth shape. And I'm almost done. Perfect. my time and letting me know time is up and pretty much that concludes foundation basics if we want we can go back over it with setting powder but basically you've got the gist so this is tutorial number one sit back and enjoy relax as divas paradise will continue